Council 283 Maryland Medical Assistance Program, Gender Affirming Treatment, Trans Health Equity Act. Favor the amendments. Amendment number one. Recognizing floor leader. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Move so much be considered the reading of the amendment. So ordered. Amendment number one adds sponsors. Amendment number two authorizes each health care provider offering gender affirming treatment with which an MCO has an active contract to consent to being included in a certain report or to be publicly listed as part of the department's annual report. Move the amendments. Question for the House is the adoption of the amendments. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. The amendments have been adopted. Question now is adoption of the Fable Report as amended. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. The Fable Report is adopted. Are there any additional amendments to the bill or to its title? Recognizing the gentleman from Carroll. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I do have an amendment at the desk. It's amendment number 0283 slash 1. Amendment number one. Move so much be considered the reading of the amendment, Madam Speaker. So ordered. I was talking to my uh, friends across the aisle recently. I know I don't have many of them, but. <laughs> HB, oh, that's right. HB 283, Gender Affirming Treatment Trans Health Equity Act. We're talking about this bill. And uh, I think there are a lot of misconceptions and misunderstandings about what the bill does. The bill expands gender affirming surgeries and irreversible puberty blockers for children. Here's what the bill says. And to the extent that the speaker wants and feels it's appropriate, you know, this is what the bill says. It has to be read, though. And there are minors in the, in the chamber. I'm not sure if it's appropriate for them to leave the chamber. That's your call. That's your call. It's your call. It's your call. <laughs> Just go ahead and read the bill. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that, Madam Speaker. Speaker, sa uh, the bill says, excuse me, gender affirming treatment, affirming treatment includes hormone therapy, hormone blockers, and puberty blockers. Alterations to voice, voice therapy, voice lessons. Alterations to abdomen, chest, trunk, and buttocks. Alteration to the face and neck. Alterations to the genitals and gonads. Laser treatment from scars from gender affirming treatment. For children. The sole purpose of the bill is to expand treatment of gender affirming care, if you will, to individuals 18 years of age and younger. And the taxpayer pays for it. The amendment I am proposing is very reasonable and I'm hoping the committee considers it a friendly amendment. It's very simple. It limits gender affirming surgeries and puberty blockers to individuals 18 years and older. This is a serious bill. We should take time to educate ourselves on this bill and see what it actually says since it has been amended. And there's so many other bills on the floor. And I know that it takes a lot of time to read these bills. This is one that should be read. My understanding is that today is the 65th day. So pursuant to rule 53 on page 45 of the rule book, I respectfully request this bill be laid over so the committee can consider the amendment and the members can read the bill. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Is this gentleman supported? 
We need four people to stand, please. Bill's laid over until tomorrow. Thank, you. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker.